Okay, this is about uh, setting manual operation. First of all, permanent, and second, temporary. The permanent and temporary are in two different places, unlike other time switches. The temporary one is here. We'll go through that in a minute. But the permanent one is in code, where you have other settings. Now, the CH, which, which we bypassed before, to go through the other settings, that's the uh, permanent. It's a little bit confusing. It's not obvious. But CH stands for channel, so you've got channel 1, ch channel 2. And to set them, you could set channel 1 on, for example. That's just channel 1. If we turn this back down again into auto, you see it's at 1500 here. So the solar switching wouldn't have come in. But that's now off under normal solar channel operation. But this is on under the uh, manual permanent on. There's no actual indication that this is permanent on. Although, judging from the time and the fact that this channel is off, uh, it's likely that this channel is on permanent. However, if you switch both of them permanent off, they'll both say off. Now it's 1500, so they would be off anyway. There's no indication as to whether they're off uh, through the timer or they're off permanent. The only way you'd know that is by switching it to code and then you would see that off under channel 1 and channel 2 under the permanent setting. If it wasn't permanent, when you turned it onto channel, you'd get nothing. So say it was both off like that and you turned it onto code you can see there's no setting as for permanent off. The settings are on for one channel or off for one channel. Same with the other channel. Both on for, for both channels and both off for both channels. If you, that won't go any further after that. To go back, just press the other minus key. Now you don't on this have the option of one permanently on and the other permanently off. You've only got on or off separately on the channels or both channels on both off. And that's the permanent setting. The temporary setting is done by this on off. The temporary setting unlike a lot of uh, time switches, is not off until the next on, or on until the next off. It's a time setting. So if we press this, we get a 60. We've got a manual. Again, this is a bit confusing because it says manual out off. It's not actually manual off it's manual on. When you press enter it will switch on. The option here with the plus and minus keys is to go 15, 30, 45, 60. You then press enter. Both of the channels here are on manual so they both switch on. Now here it does say manual and that's the difference. It does say manual, and you know that at some point it will switch back over. However, it doesn't give you a countdown, so you don't know how long uh, you've got left until it switches again. It can be switched and changed while it's on. The two channels as well 
can also be, if you press off on again, changed for only one being manual or the other being manual. Continue and pressing just cycles round. This will turn it back off again, so it turns the temporary off. So you can go manual for just one, say so set it for 30 minutes, so manual channel one. So here it's normal off, manual channel one. Again, it doesn't tell you how long for. The, you want to turn it back off again. Again, this is what you press and you go around it. You can also turn it off by going up, down. That cancels it as well. That's probably easier than going into the temporary. Now these are off and these turn it on. Now I'll just change the time to 20 hundred and these are now on. If you set these as manual while these are on nothing happens. It does not switch off unlike many other t time switches where if it's off it will switch on but if it's on it will temporarily switch off this doesn't switch off if you set one as manual and one as not manual again it's already on so it doesn't do anything <laughs> 